To start off guys, you're going to want to get these four applications. The applications you're going to be getting are File Downloader, Microsoft Edge, and UFO.Transfer. I know I said four, but that's because I'm so used to saying that. The only ones you guys are going to need is File Downloader, Microsoft Edge, and UFO.Transfer. The other application used in this is brought to you by default in UFO.Transfer, so you don't worry, have to worry about getting that. But once you guys have these three applications downloaded, you can now begin. From here, all you're going to have to do is hit the middle button on your controller and head over to the settings tab on your Xbox. Once you guys have gotten to the settings tab, go down to display and sound and go to video output. From here, go to video fidelity and overscan, go over to overscan border and make sure you guys turn your apps can add a border tab off. So if you have a check in the box, just uncheck it. From here, you guys are going to want to hit the middle button and head on over to Microsoft Edge. Yo what's up guys, it's your boy materialized or Jax black again with another mother freaking video. And in today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to download the Aquatic++ Plus Plus mod for Minecraft on Xbox. If you guys do go to enjoy today's video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you really really enjoy it, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well, as it's a super simple thing you guys can do and it helps me out tremendously. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So to start off guys, you're going to want to go ahead and either... Oh, sorry about that, guys. Super tired. It's already super late. I really apologize. You're going to either want to go ahead and type the link that just appeared on screen for you, or go to the description down below and type in that link. Now, both of these will take you to the exact same page, but it's entirely up to you on what option you want to choose. Now, once you guys have picked that and you've got to whatever you've got, you clicked on whatever link you guys have wanted and you have got to this page. You guys can go ahead and look through all of the different pictures. As you guys can see, this offers a ton of different things. You guys can get great white sharks. You guys can get the realistic edition of those. You can get hammerheads, the realistic edition of those. The tiger sharks, blue whales, orcas. Um, you can get sea serpents. You can get aqua titans, uh, normal orcas, narwhals, all kinds of different stuff. Ice sharks, uh, magma heads, all sorts of different things. But what you guys are going to want to do when you get on this page is scroll to the very bottom and click on the download link. Now, as you guys can see, it's a, it, it's supported on 1.12, 1.13, and 1.9. And the download link is an MC add-on. Therefore, any of you guys that are on mobile are also able to download this. So what you guys are going to want to do, I'm not sure if this works on Switch, but I know for a fact that it works on Xbox and mobile. So if you're any of the mobile viewers out there, you can do this as well. Now, once you guys have gotten down here, you're going to go ahead and click A on this. Now, once you guys have clicked A, you're going to go ahead and click Save As. Now, once you guys have clicked Save As, a window is going to pop up on your screen, and you're going to go ahead and hit Save. Once you guys have clicked Save, you're going to go ahead and click Open Folder. After you guys have clicked Open Folder, it's going to bring you to a page that looks like this. Now, you guys are now going to notice you have a Sharks add-on inside of that folder. What you guys are going to want to do is hover over this, hit the Pause button, and go to Copy. From there, you're then going to want to hit the middle button and go and open up UFO.Transfer. Once you guys have gotten into UFO.Transfer, you're going to go to the top right and hit the gear icon. Now remember, if you don't see this, that means you forgot to turn your overscan border off, so go do that now. But once you guys have gotten inside on this page, you're going to hit open in File Explorer. From here, you're going to go to the top and scroll over to Packages, and you're then going to want to go over to Megascopes.Universal File Downloader. From here, you guys are going to want to go to local state, and you're then going to want to go ahead and scroll down until you guys see at the very bottom down here, sharks add-on. Now, for me, it's going to be a little bit farther down. Here it is. You guys are going to then find sharks add-on. Now, once you guys have found a sharks add-on, you're going to go ahead and hover over this, and you're going to hit the pause button, and you're going to go down to rename. Now, once you guys have hit rename, you're going to hit RB. And you're going to type in .zip at the end of this. Now, once you guys have typed in .zip, you're going to hit B and then hit OK. This is going to turn that file into a zip folder for you guys to go and open. Now, once you guys have this on here, you're then going to want to go ahead and hit the middle button on your controller and open up File Downloader. 
from here you guys are going to be brought to a page that doesn't look like this but once you guys get on the page you see come to the top left hit the three lines if i can hit them hit the three lines and go to storage from there you guys are then going to want to go ahead and click on the local storage folder located right here once you guys have clicked on local storage, you're going to then want to scroll. You're probably not going to have to scroll, but you're going to want to find the folder of the zip file that says sharks add on. Now, as you guys can see here, my sharks add on folder is right here. So you're going to want to go ahead and click a on that. After you guys have clicked a on that, you're going to then see that you have a folder that says B, a folder that says R and a folder that says realistic new. Now, if you guys want to come in here and get the realistic textures for the uh, mobs, these are the realistic textures that you're going to want to get. Now, if you just want to get the normal textures, they're going to be in the R folder. The behavior pack is going to be in the B folder. For me, I want to go ahead and get the realistic textures. So I'm going to go ahead and hover over this box here, click A on it, go to the bottom right and copy this. Now, once I have copied that, you're going to go ahead and go and select the up button and you're then going to want to paste what you just copied in this main directory. So to do this, select this icon here. Once you guys have selected this icon, you're going to want to go ahead and head on back into that folder. So wait for this to paste. It takes a couple seconds and once it pastes, you're going to, like I said, head on back into that sharks add on folder. So go ahead and select that zip folder. And then you're going to want to go ahead and hover over the B square. Now, once you guys have selected the square next to the B folder, come to the bottom right and copy this as well. Once you guys have done that, hit the up button and go ahead and paste this folder into the main directory. Once you guys have pasted that folder, you're then going to want to go ahead and hit the middle button on your controller and launch open UFO.transfer again. Now, like I said before, it's probably going to bring you to this page. Go ahead and hit open in file explorer. Once you guys have hit open in file explorer, go to the top and select packages and go ahead and go to megascopes.universal file downloader. From here, you're going to go to local state and you're then going to scroll down until you find one of the folders you just pasted. So the folder I see first is the behavior packs, which is just the B. So you're going to hover over that, hit the pause button and go to copy. You're then going to want to go back to the top, select packages and scroll down to Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console. Select A on that and head over to local state, games, com.mojang. You guys are then going to have to make two new folders. Now those folders you guys are going to make are resource underscore packs and behavior underscore packs. I am going to show you guys how to do that now. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go over to this folder here and press A on it. Now once you guys have pressed on the folder icon, hit X and you're going to want to type in resource underscore packs. Now make sure you guys spell this exactly as I do, otherwise it will not load when you actually go into your Minecraft. So once you guys spell resource underscore packs exactly as I have it, go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to hit cancel, just make sure you guys hit OK. Now the next folder you guys are going to make is the behavior underscore packs folder. Now I've already showed you guys how to make the folders, all you have to do is make sure you spell it correctly. So go ahead and make this behavior packs folder and whenever you guys do that, you're going to go ahead and open it up. Once you guys are inside of the folder, yours is going to be blank. I have a ton of stuff in here from all of the mods that I've actually done. But once you guys get inside this folder, go ahead and go down and you're going to want to go ahead and paste that thing that you copied inside here. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and hit paste. And if I go to the top here, you're going to see that just the B icon is in there. So now what we're going to want to do is go back to the top and select the local state. Go over and select packages and go back into megascopes.universal file downloader. From here, go to local state and you're then going to want to go down and copy whatever version of the resource packs that you copied. For me, remember that I, re I copied the realistic new pack. You guys might have copied just the R pack. So you guys are either going to look for the R or the realistic new. I'm going to get on the realistic new, hover over it, hit the pause button and go to copy. I'm then going to go back to the very top and select packages. After this, I'm going to go ahead and go down to Microsoft.Minecraft GWP console and I'm going to go to local state, 
games com.mojang and I'm then going to go into the resource underscore packs folder that I made a little bit ago. Once you guys have selected inside of this folder, you're going to go ahead and paste that same thing you just copied inside of there. Once you guys have selected the paste icon, go ahead and double check and make sure that it went inside there. All you have to do to do this is scroll through and find it. As you can see here, mine is indeed right here. Now that I've verified this that it's in here, all you have to do is hit the middle button on your controller and launch your Minecraft. Once you guys get inside of Minecraft, you're going to go ahead and select play. After selecting play, you guys are going to want to make a new world for this. As you guys see, for all of my mods, I literally make a new world for every single one, and that is exactly what I suggest you guys do for this mod as well. The reason you guys should do this is because you don't want to take the chance of putting this mod on an older world and then messing that older world up just to add a mod on it. So go ahead and hit create new, create new world, and name it whatever you guys want. Once you guys have your world named, whatever you guys want to name it, go through the settings and you, I'm going to put it on creative. You guys don't have to. You can leave it on survival if you want to. I'm just going to do that for demonstration purposes. Now, once you guys have done whatever you want up here, you're going to scroll down to world options. You're going to scroll to the very bottom of that list and make sure you guys turn on use experimental gameplay. Once you guys have this selected, scroll to the left, go down to resource packs, and you're then going to see Aquatic++ Plus Plus Realistic Edition, or, sorry about that, or Aquatic++ Plus Plus Normal Edition for the uh, available packs. Go ahead and select A on this, and then hit the plus button. Once you guys have added that, it should have automatically added the behavior pack, but sometimes it doesn't, so you're going to want to go ahead and go down to behavior packs and also turn this on as well. So once you guys have both of those things on, you're then going to go left and go ahead and load up your world. You guys might have to go on the hunt for a little bit just to find some, but once you find them, I'm telling you, you guys really do find them. I swam around in the water for like maybe 5 or 10 minutes and didn't see a thing. But once I got to this area, it is just entirely populated with so many different creatures. As well as a nice little underwater cave. A lot of drowned over here as well. But as you can see, here is the realistic sharks as well as some of the other things these things are just insane looking guys this ice shark looks so cool like it looks so so nice as well as the orcas um some of the other fish like this stuff down here the stuff looks really cool here's one of the magma heads i believe i believe that's a magma head or is that i don't know if what that is i think that's the um hmm what is that thing called i'm sure i have i'm sure I'll remember uh, you guys can check it out I don't remember what this thing is called right off the bat but yeah these things are super super cool I'm sure you guys could go and hunt them and figure them out and really mess around with these things a bit it looks like these things are fighting each other right now so that's super cool definitely check this mod out guys it's a really cool mod I hope you guys did go to enjoy today's video remember if you did enjoy make sure to smash that like button and if you really really enjoyed today's video and it helped you out at all Smash that subscribe button as well and help me get to that 5,000 subscriber mark. It's been a boy materialized for Jax, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.